Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I sing So go ahead and enjoy Basking in the glorious sort of sunshine in my conservatory here Good form. Well, the sun's sort of peering through. You can see it. Like, can you see it all biblical like that? Like, they say yeah, the sun shines on those who are righteous. That's what you need. 20 minutes of that on your face a day, direct sunlight, vitamin D. That's what just you need. Just 20 minutes of interview, just like that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 20 minutes. Get your vitamin D. No, you do actually need that. You need the um, direct sunlight on your face, face and neck for 20 minutes without sunglasses. Because if you have your sunglasses on, when you basically vitamin D gets them um, activated in your body, or at least they're converted in the body through sunlight, so if, and it goes in through your eyes as well. So if you have your sunglasses on, it means that you're not going to be converting it. So you need to uh, make sure you get it get it on your face directly. That is amazing. FYI. I'm always wearing my sunnies, so I'm probably missing out on so much. But what's the what, what do you do to compensate that? For example, in this country, if we've not got a lot of sunshine. And so you really do actually want to be on a vitamin D supplement probably um, in the winter months. Normally in the summer, if you're outside, you're going to get, you know, enough sunlight. But vitamin D is a, a, what's called a fat soluble vitamin. So it stores in the body. It lasts for a long time. But what happens, so if you get sun all through the summer, you'll probably be all right, you know, September, October. When you sort of get to November, December, January, February time and you've not seen sun for, you know, months, it's probably a good idea, unless you're on medication, to probably be on a vitamin D supplement. Because vitamin D is so important for so many things in your body, for your immune system, for metabolism, for your bone health, um, that actually if you're not getting enough of it, it, it it's, it's deficient in so many diseases. And I did actually see yesterday, there was a study that's come out about vitamin D deficiency and its links with COVID-19. And the impact of those who have suffered with or, you know, have been exposed to or, you know, contracted COVID-19 have actually had lower vitamin D levels than um, people that haven't. Wow. So it's an interesting, and it's, I find that with a lot of vitamin D, I've noticed in a lot of studies that I've seen that actually um, it's not necessarily if you've got a disease and you take vitamin D, you're going to, you're going to be fine. It's going to get rid of the disease. But being deficient in vitamin D can often be um, a triggering factor for a lot of diseases. So it's definitely worth getting a vitamin D supplement. I would say liquid drops are the best. You get like you put it under your tongue. You can get tablets as well, but liquid sort of goes into the bloodstream quicker. Um, but unless you're on any type of medication, but usually vitamin D is quite safe for everyone. But yeah, I would suggest during the winter months, definitely get it in there. FYI. <laughs> Cause it's just loose lips.